Hi students, Miss Lockhart here. We are going to do this fun drawing of the Starry Night by Vincent Van Gogh. This is day one, we'll just do the sketch. And then next time, next week, we will color it in. So I'm using a black marker. You should use a pencil for now. I'm using this so you can really see my lines. So I'm starting on the left and notice my paper's horizontal so, so that it is um, wide and not tall. And look here, I have done a curved line that is curving into itself. It is going to become a spiral. And then continue the line inward until there's not any more room. I'm gonna draw a crescent over here for the moon. It's a little wobbly, but once we color it in, it'll look really fun and nice. So your lines might be wobbly too, which is okay. So now I'm going to draw another spiral. This is great practice. Spirals are so fun. Those spirals represent the wind. Okay, now I'm thinking about the horizon line, or where the sky meets the ground. And that's half of it on the right there. And I'm going to draw some lines that represent a hill, and maybe like some farmland over there. And I'm gonna do the rest of the horizon line. But I'm having to think a minute because the building in the middle here has a tall tower and I need to make sure that I do that tower before I finish my horizon line because it's gonna cut through the horizon line. Okay, in the original painting, this is a church you can make your buildings and your city be whatever you want. Okay, now I'm gonna continue the horizon line, but I'm gonna build my city a little bit up because that's actually gonna be the horizon line, the tops of the buildings. So you can follow along, add your own shapes and your own kind of buildings. You can even think about what your school looks like. You could draw your school or you could draw the Draw the grocery store, a park, whatever you want. Whatever you want your neighborhood to look like. And I'm drawing little squares and then that arch to represent a door. And the little squares are little windows. I plan to color those in yellow so it looks like light is shining through or shining out. So I've almost done the left side where the horizon line would be. And now I'm gonna continue with some houses and buildings. I wanted to try a different shaped roof. That's a fun arch or semicircle, which is like half of a circle on the top. You can do any fun shapes you want for your roofs. Here's a triangle and some little doors rectangles. It's really fun drawing tiny shapes. So you'll be making your city your own. Okay, now there's the little horizon line. Do you see it between the houses there? You can't see the line because the houses are in front, aren't they? So that's how I made my city look in the horizon line. Now I'm gonna add some pretty stars. It is the starry night after all. These stars are like a cross or an X and then you draw little diagonal lines, four of them in each of the corners to represent the shine of the star, the light coming off the star. Now I'm putting a circle around these for now. We'll be adding a lot more when we do color also. We're going to be making the illusion of movement with our lines. I'm going to add one more little star with the marker. When we color it, we're going to add lots of little stars. And if you have a different way of drawing stars, that's fine too. Make this your own. Now you'll see I am adding a similar curved line to the one above it. And then I'm leaving some space and going below and adding another curved line 
and then around the spiral, I'm moving, making some space and doing a similar curve all around. So around each spiral, I'm going to make a line that is similar to the line of the spiral. So the curve is the same direction and I'm leaving some space. It's about an inch or half an inch of space between each line. These are the lines that make the background and the sky look like it's moving, like the wind is blowing. It creates a rhythm because it's repetition. The line repeats over and over, but it has that similar curvature. So this might take a little bit of practice when you do the sky. If you don't like your lines, you're probably using a pencil, so you can always erase, but don't worry so much. You can just do even another spiral if you want. But make sure you have repeating lines at the top that go the same direction as one of your spirals. Now you'll see I'm working on the foreground, which is another way of saying the front of the drawing where the city is. I'm adding some kind of road lines, or maybe they're sidewalks. You can make your city look however you want. Maybe there's a bridge in your city, or maybe, maybe there's um, a cool forest. So you can see I'm just adding some more details. What's really important is that your sky has those spirals and then more lines that look like the spiral and go in the same direction as each other. We're going to color this next week. So go ahead and just work on your sketch or your outline. Oh, chimneys are a fun idea to add to the house. The rest of the drawing is all about adding fun details and making sure your spirals in the sky repeat to create rhythm and repetition and movement. So please hold off on coloring because you need to spend time on other subject areas this week. And next week we will color. I'll show you some really fun tricks with coloring too to make it look like the sky is moving. Have a wonderful week. I'll talk to you soon. And my dog says bye too. <laughs> bye everyone.